Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Civilization 6, where today I'm playing as Hungary. We have gotten into the um, modern era here, and we've gotten ourselves a golden age. And we're actually about to settle a bunch of colonies, like literally two turns later. Two turns after this, we're going to be about to settle a bunch of colonies that have huge loyalty problems. But luckily, we just got a golden age, and Here Be Dragons is eligible. So we're going to take a Here Be Dragons golden age. Perfect. Perfect timing. We can take another shot on this Caravel, then kill the Caravel. So that'll do a couple of good things for us. Not only will it completely stabilize the loyalty and no longer make it even an emergency, it actually, these two might be able to stabilize loyalty on their own without even moving any governors. But the other thing it does is it gives me four citizens immediately, which allows me to work all of the tiles, which allows me to grow even further. I do probably want to buy a builder or two in here. Probably should have sent builders with these, um, with these boys, but uh, it's too little too late for that. I'm going to go ahead and queue up this movement. I feel pretty safe in these waters. Like, I don't think there are any more caravels because I think there were only two and I took care of all of them. I took care of all of them. Took care of all of them. That's beautiful. That was, that was so bad. It was, ugh. I think I'm going to go ahead and build an... I built an arch museum in here, so I'll build an art museum in here. I can build another art museum in here, which gives me more culture. I'm going to put this uh, engineer to sleep and see if there's anything else that's... I guess Casa is technically worth building, especially because if I can get it for free, it must be built adjacent to a government plaza, so I lose out on some okay farms like this farm is now less good and this farm is now less good or i lose it on this mine i think a free casa could be pretty good i haven't thought about it you know what else could i do i do think that it's time to build the statue because i i have 10 diplomatic victory points and it's already turned 206 of the game i don't think i can afford to wait any longer for the statue Last time that I played a diplomatic victory, they started voting me down to be world leader, even at 14 diplomatic victory points. So I think there's just been a couple of changes in, in the way that that works. So I don't, I don't know that delaying the statue is even that important. And if I lose the statue, I lose a lot of momentum towards the diplomatic victory. So yeah, I think we will. I think we'll just get the Casa de Contracion. All cities not on your original capital content with a governor gain 15% production, 15% faith, and 15% gold, which are all really, really good. And then I just move all my governors over there, right? I've got Liang in here. I've got Magnus somewhere. Yep. Seems fine to me. I've never built the Casa, actually. Oh, it has to be this mine. Oh, dang it. I thought that this was the uh, government plaza, but it is not. So how much production is on this tile? I'm losing five production per turn. That's fine. I also don't need to have a production focus in this city. Let's let's well, let's finish the thermal bath and let's do it next turn. All right, I'm gonna just repeat this twenty gold route. That's fine. So there's a special session, which we were not party to. That's never good. So who did she eat? Did she eat? It must have been Kagawana. Yeah, if Kagawana comes back, then I can just be friends with Kagawana again. Yeah, look at this. We're in a golden age as well, so actually the loyalty problem is completely gone. And I guess Tamara is now in a dark age. Oh, Tamara is actually in a golden age, so I don't know what's wrong with this loyalty. I guess it's just that I'm in a golden age, but whatever. I can settle these cities immediately now. I don't need to worry about era score at all. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the harbor in here. 157 turns, but that's pretty deceiving. And I can swap out the loyalty cards too, which I'll do next turn, because I don't need to work on the loyalty. They'll, they'll be just fine. 
Um, we're gonna fin we're not gonna build the art museum. We're gonna build Casa. And it's 480 gold, or production towards that. And then I'm just gonna have that on alert. There's urbanization. And yeah, I feel really, really safe that I've won. There's our Casa. So. Oh, we have another charge on Eiffel because I forgot that I built the, um, I, I wasn't gonna build the mausoleum this time, but then I did. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should have swapped this tile. I did, that's fine, okay. Uh, I'm not going to finish the art museum just yet. I'm going to build this hydroelectric dam. It's been a while since I've needed to build that for a minute. I'm going to build a hydroelectric dam in here as well, just to slow down climate change and prevent myself from uh, contributing too much to that. I'm still not contributing all that much to it. But I will have uh, one coal power plant permanently, so just to keep my emissions kind of low. I, I think that keeping emissions low is probably not important for winning the game. I still haven't actually tested that. Uh, nobody's Suzerain of Valletta right now. So I'm going to go ahead and become Suzerain of Valletta. I'm going to be a little bit careful with my money. And we're still very, very winning the Nobel Peace Prize. Let's declare our friendship here, and then let's also ask for a research alliance. Great. Oh, whoa, what the heck, dude? Why did you not... And she also stole the dyes. Ugh. That's no good. Oh well, this city is literally like nothing to me. It's just some population that lives in the north, and maybe it's the uh, Amundsen Scott station. Like a theater square there, a campus there. I was hoping to get those dyes, but uh, I guess she got it. Okay. No pity party. So we don't need the loyalty cards. We don't need colonial offices. What we could take is um, colonial taxes because we're gonna need to produce harbors and all of that. And then I might take conscription. Actually, let's take veterancy because we need production towards harbors. We don't need gold at all. So I do have three governor promotions from CASA. We can grab puppeteer which allows me to become suzerain of things basically wherever I want. We could take the master plan here. When completed, it provides great people points and science for every ley line in the city. That's just not that important. I could take tax collector here and then contractor and then move her to these cities and buy these harbors. That seems like the right play, right? And then we reassign her to, say, Zonlock, Zolnok. I don't know why this Zelda uh, does it. That's one of the bad things about this game is that no matter where your camera is, you can move units that are completely off camera in ways that don't make sense at all. And that you really feel like the game should be smart enough to figure out, but it's not. Do I take a plus five commercial hub here? I don't think so. I think, if anything, I need to take a plus two campus. Yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and get started on the campus. Let's just continue getting ridiculous amounts of science and culture, because if we get ridiculous amounts of science and culture, then we can get up to the point where we can um, get a diplomatic victory point from either tree or from both trees. And likewise, I think we just take Renaissance walls in here. If I can get up to, if I can get on to Mars good side ever, then it's worth it. We do have 500 faith and we're friends with Valletta. So we might as well go ahead and buy some um, inner city buildings. 
I'm gonna prioritize walls because you can only purchase walls with faith and I've got 8,000 gold in the bank. So as a matter of fact, I need to go ahead and start buying things like it's going out of style. We are gonna buy that harbor. So maybe I should buy a, or work on a campus here. It's a plus two campus. Or it's a plus one theater square. Let's take the plus two campus and then we can move that to a plus one theater square. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a couple tiles actually. Thank you very much. We were moving this one over here. That must have been what happened to that other settler. Is that I had a settler highlighted and I was like, settle over here. And he just said, yep, we'll do. Okay, uh, you can go to sleep. Where are you going, my friend? Like, what, what, what are you doing? I don't think there's anywhere you can settle over here, so... There's no point. And I'm allies with Greece, so there's... Nothing you can do. So there's the Eiffel Tower. That's four diplomatic victory points. So now we're up to 14. This is very deceptive. It looks like I'm at least 17, maybe even 18. We have a great person to claim. Instantly build a lighthouse and a shipyard. Yes, thank you very much. We're going to move you immediately over to Zolnok. And in Zolnok, well, at this point, I guess I start on the medieval walls because what else feasibly can I build in here? Actually, I should build a builder. If I'm gonna build anything, I need to build a builder. And then I can start building builders and sending them over to other cities in this expansionist pattern here. Let's see. This city actually blocks off all of the cities. If I settle one further south, then I could settle up here, but I wouldn't get a, a, as much adjacency on the harbor, so both of the cities would be worse. This city's fine, and then maybe another city down here with this aluminum to get a plus three harbor. I'm just going wild with cities here. Like, why not? Prevent somebody else from doing it. I guess with this city, I need more housing because I'm at my housing limit. It has tons and tons of tiles to work. So I could build a neighborhood. That would be a reason not to. That's a plus six neighborhood, but it's going to flood. I need to build my uh, flood walls in here, actually. Build medieval walls just to get on to Mars good side. So we're actually losing population in here because we don't have enough food, but if we'll change that, we'll get a granary. We can purchase a monument and a granary and a water mill. So now we're at population stagnation, which is just fine with me. I'll take this plus three campus and then I'll also build a plus two square. That's all I really need from the city. I really don't need anything but the city. We're going to purchase walls in here. And everybody that has proven themselves to not be uh, frivolous spenders of diplomatic favor has enough diplomatic favor to trigger any emergency they need. So I'm still feeling comfortable. I'm going to settle this. And then I'm going to settle this next turn. We're going to immediately uh, place the harbor to lock in the price. I don't see like anything else good to get, like maybe a theater square. You really don't need anything. Maybe I should build an art museum in here. Oh, I was going to build an archaeologist. Yeah, we'll do that afterwards. I don't have any spies. 
I'm going on a, on a spy free game, apparently. I should probably be building spies instead of medieval walls and renaissance walls. I don't have Machiavellianism slop swapped in. Horatio Nelson this is going to build a lighthouse in a shipyard. Okay, in two, in two turns we'll get a free harbor. Or a m pretty much free harbor. I'm going to buy this tile just to get another better mine. And while we're waiting, we, we might as well... How many turns until growth? One turn. Okay, that's worth waiting for. This can be on alert. And we can just continue exploring. And that's the next turn. Okay. Next is probably... Probably a spy. Actually, let's build the spy in a place where we're struggling to find things to do. Like, Ezdragom is going to have nothing to do in a minute here. So we're Suzerain of Hong Kong. Did we... We've already levied their military. How much longer do we get to keep their military? One turn. Okay, then we'll want to re-levy there. I'm going to settle here. There we go. We want to go ahead and start. Let's lock in the price of the harbor. And then we want to work on a builder. Let's see, yeah, that's a plus four harbor. That's what we want. I'm going to purchase a monument, purchase a granary, purchase an ancient walls, and then work on the builder. And it really seems like I'm doing nothing with these cities. I, I really don't need them. But one advantage of doing this is I have an insane amount of production left over that I can then continue to work on aid requests. I have a lot more gold with which to uh, purchase these aid requests. I really should be getting these boosts, but I'm not. Honestly, it's probably not that big a deal. I'm going to buy the harbor. So now the harbor's done, right? So now we have a lighthouse and a shipyard in this city. Let me go ahead and also buy a campus. It's a plus four campus now. Oh, there's a reef here. Okay, perfect. And then let me also buy... I don't have enough money for a theater square. Oh, I don't have enough population for a theater square. That's fine. It This city will come back later. We'll come back later for this city. What I need to do is now reassign Reyna to another city that needs to get online, such as maybe Casa's next. Because if Casa goes, then I can get a builder and then improve the coal. As a matter of fact, I should probably buy a builder in Casa. Yeah, let's actually go to... let's go to Casa. Oh, and uh, Casa's alive. Sorry, Casa de Contracion is alive. So I need to actually move these governors to get more um, value out of them in these other settlements. So we're going to move Magnus to Zolnok. Right, because Casa provides me with uh, a bunch of extra um, output from these cities if I have governors in them. So let's also move Liang to Zekefsevarar. Okay. I think I did pretty well trying to pronounce that, all things considered. We do have the ability to produce another trader. That's great. Oh, I need to move this trader to... Let's move it to Kekazmet. Ke Ke Kekazmet. Someone is just having a... a field day with the way they pronounce things. She's making demands of me? Oh, she died. Bye-bye. Let's actually make a demand of her. Give me one gold per turn. All right. Just to make her more mad. Like, I, that really upsets me. Like, what would you... Oh, I probably should have moved one of these trade routes to another one of my cities. But I can get a trade route with Corinth for 20 gold here, so we'll do that. 
As a matter of fact, maybe I should hire some more governors so I can put them in these cities. I do have Amani. What is Amani doing for me? She's doubling my envoys in Granada. Is that where I want to double envoys? I really let this go. I haven't been paying attention. Who's next? Uh, I guess Hattusa is a good target for the next city-state. So let's move Amani to Hattusa. Okay. Uh, we can levy the military of Hong Kong now. I've, I've made most of the important purchases that I can make. I want to buy a harbor in here for a thousand gold and a harbor here for a thousand gold, but I'm making 400 gold per turn. So let's go ahead and levy the military again. I, I really should just levy every military, every opportunity that I have a, the chance to do that. As a matter of fact, if I levied military Valletta, I have not. And I have levied the military of Granada. Okay. Okay, now she's finally happy with me. Okay, we need to renew our alliance with Philip. Let's actually ask for a research alliance again. Actually, you had a military alliance, was it? Sure. I think it was a religious alliance now that I've taken it. But let's um, let's see where she is. She's happy that we're fortifying our cities. We have trade routes between our nations. Friendly meeting. Let's go ahead and give her 100 gold. Oops. No, not that. Can I not do this? Make deal. I can't give her gold. Whatever, I'll give her 10 gold per turn for their turns. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So now we're trading with her favorably. I just gave her, I've essentially gotten my money back. Let's trade with Christina. Whatever. Now she's like happy. We'll give her 100 gold. I can't give her gold anymore. I can only give gold per turn. Maybe it's because I have 4,000 gold or something. I, I don't know. Whatever. It's not that big a deal. It's like 300 gold. What am I doing here? I could build an armory. I could have two forts. I could build two banks. We'll probably do that one. I have a level two alliance already, and that could get me to research labs, which could get me more science. Own three musket men. Coal mine and ironclad, extract an artifact. Build an oil well. Boost through great scientist or spy. Build three biplanes. Build two aerodromes. Three cores. The reason that I'm not really going for these um, boosts too much is that I'm so far ahead that it really just doesn't seem like it's worth my time to go for those quests right now. I'm just not feeling it right now. This is not a comprehensive strategy guide. This is a let's play. Five turns for a bank. I need to get another trader. Well, I can't get another trader. I've already made all the traders I need to make. So I think I should get a spy. Yeah, we'll get a spy. The best trade we have is with gold. I'm going to move this to Casa. And we finish whatever we were building in here. Let's get a neighborhood for some more housing. I'm going to swap this tile and this tile. Actually, we need to get flood barriers in this city. It will die to climate change. As a matter of fact, let's look at the settler lens for a second and see where all of the floods are. Miss Glock is going to have floods. Pax is going to have a little bit of floods. Really nothing of super value is going to have a lot of flooding. Like maybe this city needs to build a flood barrier. Actually, that's probably wise because this, uh, this ley line, that's the most important tile that will fall into the sea. So building flood barriers in here makes sense. And one turn for Flood Barriers makes sense in here. Has it been a turn? We'll, we'll wait a turn to see if she's happy next turn. 
and then if she's happy next turn, then we will uh, ask for a friendship and then an alliance and all that, all that fun stuff. Okay, I really don't need this here. I'm gonna move this to another one of my um, foreign cities. This guy's fine. Just keep exploring. Just keep exploring. Um, okay. This ironclad can come rest and repair. Oh, that's uh, Valetta's ironclad, actually. I'm going to bring this back into safe waters so I can repair it as well. I probably should dismiss this unit now because it uh, is technically consuming coal, which is contributing to climate change, but it's really just not that important. The problem with loving all of these city-states is that I have so many military units now to just tell, okay, piss off. Okay, there's military engineering and production here. We've got... What tiles are going to die to climate change in this city? Ah, uh, whatever. Just build them anyway. Doesn't matter. I'm going to speed up the rate at which I play this game, because the faster I play, the faster this is over. Uh, this is fine. I probably be sh should be sending these to get uh, more envoys. There's mobilization. We learned we learned levy on mass, but I think veterancy is probably the better card, technically speaking. Are you established yet? One more turn till establishment in this city. You could build an encampment in this city. We never built our campus. Build our plus four campus. Why not? Why wouldn't we build that campus? And then we need to repair our naval infrastructure, apparently. Because we got attacked. All right. Who's the biggest... I guess Pedro technically has the most diplomatic favor. Wow, he doesn't even have any of his original cities. He just has Breslov. Georgia has really taken over. She's a force to be reckoned with. If I take a listening post, then... Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and just steal tech from him. That's probably the best thing that I can do. All these are fine. Expropriation is gone. Triangular trade would give me a bunch more gold. I think probably rationalism is the right call now. Because rationalism is such a strong card. And then we'll want to keep... Uh, public works in for builders. Natural philosophy will allow more of my campuses to apply for rationalism, but I think colonial taxes is probably a little bit better because I'm trying to get some cities online in terms of production. Yep, I think everything looks good. Uh, rip units that aren't mine. <laughs> I think maybe the next thing the city can do is just build a bunch of builders and start sending them to the, these um, other cities. Like, what else can I do? We need to get this uh, fishing boats online. I could also um, buy a seaport, or, or I could even build a seaport in here, but I'm going to get a library and then start um, in on the uh, university. This city wants a trade route. I'll do it. It's it's fine. There's another envoy. Woohoo. So let's uh, get a kill here. Let's step on the land. Let's get a kill here. Get a kill there. Hey, look, war just to shake something up. Oh, I forgot to um, use Reyna. So Reyna is established in Casa. There's metal casting. Reyna is established here. We've got 6,000 gold. Let's go ahead and buy our harbor in here and now we can also buy a lighthouse and we can also buy a shipyard so now the city actually has production it's live we can now move reina from this city to kek cement and then the last thing that we'll do is we'll move reina over up to this northern city and probably buy a theater square it might actually be able to finish its campus in time i don't know 
I'm prioritizing food in here to get it to grow so I can put that uh, campus down. Or so I can put that theater square down. But I think this iron mine would be really good too. I'm going to build a lumber mill. Actually, the iron mine is definitely the right call here, even though it's going to take me three turns to get there. Let's let's build an... Oh, she's still unhappy with me. We sent favorable trade deals. She's happy we're fortifying our city. She respects empires with a lot of land. Who does she think we we are? We broke a pledge to remove troops from their border. And we settled near them. So that'll all fade over time. We don't have any troops near their border anymore. Let's in fact just move them away. Meanwhile, we don't really have to work to impress her all that much. I'm going to build our art museum while I have the time. And I will build an art museum in here. Actually, I'll build a flood barrier in here while I have the time. We already built our flood barrier in here. Let's grab an art museum. Once again, I'm grabbing all these art museums to um, just get some culture without having to think about it. ready to boost economics by having banks, but I don't have any anywhere. I think I still go towards chemistry so I can get those um, faster. There's our great musician, which gave us an envoy. This great musician can create a great work. I'm going to move these into the other cities so that I can put down that second great music. Two turns for a flood barrier, that seems great. We can move this to say Athens that's a very low chance of success Corinth no that's a decent chance of success for the um, steel boost mission neither of them are all that important yeah let's renew this route okay and this can just remain on alert this can fortify can fortify. Now there's no troops near her border. Actually, I'm going to move him up here just so we're completely and totally certain that there are no troops near her border. I'm missing out on a lot of culture and science if I don't just buy this tile, so why not? And these can take a promotion. Let's just take a promotion. Cool. Um, cool. Wow, this is this would be a really good campus. So I could put a city here, I could put a harbor here, and then a campus. I can buy it with Reina. That could cause Georgia to respect me, which gets me an alliance. I could even settle the city on the river to get housing. I could settle the city. I could settle a couple cities, actually. Do I want to get another settler? Could be cute. Because this was, this city would generate me a lot of science and culture. If I just plop right here, I build an aqueduct. It's a plus three harbor. Alternatively, I could settle here and then have fresh water, build a harbor here, but that gets me further away from all of these uh, beautiful ley lines. And there's really only one city that I want. I could settle right here and take the crabs, but I think maybe settling on the ley line will be a little bit better. Like, who am I kidding? What other tiles are that work? I guess there's fish tiles. Do I have any oil in my empire? I do have oil from somewhere. We have a great person. We have Newton. Newton's great. Not Newton. Einstein. Who's that other smart guy from history? Is it the Apadana that can hold this great work? Okay, where was the Apadana? I just moved great works from... Oh, from the amphitheater. Oops. Okay. Playing too fast. 
I think I, I think that settler is too cute to pass up. We need another trader. We can swap in the expropriation card. Colonial taxes is probably still better. We'll just hard build a settler with no bonus to production. It's fine. And then I'm going to send this builder. I'm going to send this builder over to the top. Actually, I could buy a builder in there. I'll send him over to Keximet. We're going to purchase a builder in here because we can. Could also purchase a settler. I'm still winning the peace prize, am I not? Yes, I'm very much winning the peace prize. Like, not even worth checking again. I do need another governor for this city. Do I really not want to change policy cards? Yeah, I think I think this is fine. What does she even mean? She's writing she's making 25 culture per turn. I'm making 225 culture per turn. Alright, there's economics. Some spies escaped from somewhere. Cool, great. One level of Diplo visibility with all of the civs. That's cool, I guess. Great. Let's go spy on Christina. What else? What can I do in there? Basically nothing. I. It's very satisfying to me that she got murdered this game. For some reason or another, like she just got on my nerves this time like she forward settled at me and then I do have another spy in here so I might as well just go ahead and go here and then I can run a gold mission or something like that let's grab a settler it'll only take 10 turns and in here guess we grab another theater square If Tamara's not going to be happy with the walls that I have, she won't be happy with these forever. I, I should probably uh, build some walls at some point, especially because steel is coming up. All right, so this builder was going to come improve the production by building on this. Uh, yeah, I can build a mine and then I can also build a lumber mill. I'm going to build a mine here. Oh, we boosted theology. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely incredible. I never thought I would boost theology, but I got that envoy. <laughs> that is a Kodak moment. All right. Uh, what do we do now? Could get the Hermitage. I could get the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal would take one more productive pile away. Oh, I have Niter here. I never even noticed. So we definitely need this builder to come at least get this Niter mine really quickly. Sorry, other cities. You're just gonna have to wait. I could actually build a harbor in Buddha. It doesn't have any adjacency, so there's no point in building that harbor. I can build a commercial hub across the way. Yeah, I think I, I think this city is basically done. I'm going to get a broadcast center in here because I do have um, electricity in there. Let's build walls in here. Let's build... Uh, yeah, let's build walls in here. And we'll go for a library in here. Get flood barriers. Let's get flood barriers. Let's go ahead and get a mine for this city. Does this thing no, neither of these cities need flood barriers, do they? No, it does need walls. But I do have enough faith to buy walls. I could buy medieval walls in this city. It's in my worst production city. Let's uh, go ahead and create a listening po or a whatever. Whatchamacallit? 
this great merchant give me one more diplo visibility on everybody so we're already at the part where rock bands are good that's fun what's next I think we just keep building walls try to get onto Mars good side Cezarin of uh, where is our Amani? Our Amani's in Hattusa. So let's levy Hattusa's military. I forgot that I need to do that. Oops. And then we can even move Amani to Lisbon. Or we could go to Armagh. Lisbon's probably more profitable. Let's move Amani to Lisbon, so we can move Amani, Lisbon, go. I'm going to go ahead and promote another governor so I can put them in one of our colony cities, Casa, especially because we're about to have a fifth colony city that will need another governor. Uh, Rain is established in here so we can purchase the harbor. We can also purchase a lighthouse and a shipyard. Really don't like the menu closes when this happens, but it does. Could also take a canal, but that canal really wouldn't do very much. Trade routes running through it can multiply the gold. I mean, I've never tried it. That's my last little bit of gold, though. I think it might be use more useful to either keep that last little bit of gold for the harbor in the city I'm about to settle. Well, I'm earning 500 gold per turn, or build a campus in here. And I think I'd like to buy a campus in here just to get through the science tree faster. Or actually, let's buy a theater square. Boom. Done. And then we'll reassign her when we have the chance. I'm gonna build a mine here. This mine is uh, done so I can come build a lumber mill. We can build a lumber mill here and then build a mine there. This crevasse has already done its job for us. There's another ley line over here. Gosh, let's refuse those demands. I'm no longer Suzerain of Hattusa. It would take four more envoys to be Suzerain of Hattusa. Oh, I didn't even realize that I could continually juggle this, because now that I'm not Suzerain of Hattusa, I no longer can levy their military. So what I can do is bring Amani back and then levy the military again. So in a few turns, I'll do that by moving um, Amani from Lisbon. I'll, I'll become Suzerain of Lisbon, and then I'll move Amani back. We finished our archeologist, so we can extract an artifact, which is probably gonna be this one. We need to build our iron mine, or our niter mine there. Two turns for a library, that's fantastic. Three turns for a trader. Great deal. Let's move this boy to probably Casa or Kick Summit. And let's uh, go for the best gold. I wish I could disable that rock band noise. It's literally just noise. I feel like an old person saying that, but uh, it's not not pleasant. So we can go ahead and boost democracy by building our sewers, which is probably what I should do because it's coming up very soon. In fact, it's probably more important than these walls, especially in this city. Six turns for a sewer, or I could buy it. Just buy a sewer in here because it's, it's pressing. And then we'll build our sewers in here. Oh, two turns for flood barriers. We can build flood barriers in a minute. Where is climate change? Nowhere near. Okay, so we'll build our sewers first. We'll build our sewers in here. And then an alchemical society and then walls. We can build sewers in this city as well. 11 turns. I guess it is worth it for the housing. 
mostly the the mo most important part is to get the uh the boost for democracy let's maximize our gold potential and we want to build a mine here because these are the four tiles that the city is working so now we've drastically increased the production of this city At some point, it'll probably be worth it to start running those alchemical society projects just to get more great person points to make our ley lines more productive because we're not earning that many great engineers. We've only earned one. Let's excavate an artifact. There's combustion. There's an envoy. Let's take ancient Matthias or Matthias. Potato has rubbed off on me. I actually went to school with a kid named Matthias, and nobody ever said Matthias, but every time that Potato says this name, he says Matthias. I suppose that's a sign that I'm getting a little tired as well. This might be the last one that I record tonight. I'm going to go ahead and get another farm, because why not? Farms are good. And then I can... Probably shouldn't have let her take that fish tile. I probably should have grabbed it for myself, because the city has no food. I'm going to have to build a neighborhood. Can I get a breathtaking neighborhood? Is there a neighborhood in here? Yeah, that's a breathtaking neighborhood. I probably shouldn't buy it for gold, like, like, well, when am I going to ever make this many mines for this city? I will, and then I'll be crushing myself, or I'll be kicking myself. Where did this builder go? This builder that was going to build this thing. Oh, here he is. Okay, so we can try to siphon funds in here. Well, actually, we need to wait because uh, in a few turns, yeah, six more turns. So actually, I'm going to put this spy to sleep. And then once I finish that objective, then that'll be fine and dandy. All right, and we're actually just a couple of era score away from even a normal age next time. There's ideology, economic union, five-year plan is good. I think maybe five-year plan outdoes colonial taxes. Although it benefits cities that are well-established. I think I'll wait for that. And then gunboat diplomacy is good. I'm not actually using veterancy like I thought I would. I'm losing 33 gold from units. So I might as well switch out. Science from Renaissance walls would be okay too, I suppose. But the thing to do now is to uh, try to beeline towards these um, technologies so that I can uh, figure out where seasteads are to get my one more diplomatic victory point. Which means, I guess, getting... Oh, I don't know. Up through nuclear fusion, maybe? Let's, uh, let's earn... Let's earn solar farms, because that's probably the one that I'm going to be using more than um, windmills. Look, a bunch of solar farms in here. Civics tree. We want democracy, don't we? Yeah, trade routes to allies. Fascism, no. Communism is production per citizen and cities with governors. And plus 10% science. Communism wouldn't be so bad either. But I think democracy is the best. I've got, become set in my ways. I've become a, a Democrat. Let's get... Let's get an art museum in here. Well, let's get a sewer. Because we need sewers. We can build a research lab. Let's go ahead and start doing that. There isn't uh, an industrial zone up here. As a matter of fact, I might want to make an industrial zone. Can I build it right here? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's too far away. I could build an industrial zone right here. Which of these cities has the best production? 
Miss Golk actually doesn't have very good production without uh, Reyna in there to help out. Eager needs a sewer bad. Yeah, I think I'll build an industrial zone in the city when it comes up to 7 population, which is what I really should do. But I think the... well, actually, I'll play it for a couple more minutes here. I was going to call it, but uh, there's a chance that I can get up to a non-dark age, and this is just a couple of cool decisions I could make, like can connect this aluminum. What could this unit do? I guess just maximize our gold. Hong Kong wants an on or a trade route? Yeah, okay. We'll send a trade route to Hong Kong. Is Imani established yet? Establishing in one turn. Okay, good. Remember that time that I was like, I'm going to play faster. Haha, <laughs> no. Okay, so we can claim uh, Mark Twain. Great. We can claim this guy. You know, now that I think about it, I should be retiring these great admirals because they're worth some science per turn, right? Forms an armada out of a military unit. Let's, uh, let's move this guy over to Kick Senate. Promotion. Cool. And then one more science on every ley line, which is actually a significant amount of science. We can build plus two campus in here, I suppose, from each adjacent reef. Yeah, that's good. Why not? After all, we just finished that tile, or uh, preventing that tile from flooding. So this builder can come to Kexemet. Kexemet, or whatever it is. Battleship. Cool. I'll take plus seven versus uh, naval units. I'll keep this builder around in here just in case I need to build a couple more mines eventually. But I mean, it's never going to grow in population, so... Whatever. Reyna is fine. I think I'm just going to leave uh, everything as it is and just I'll move Reyna to this city down here once it's established. Well, we don't need to actually move away from rocketry. It's fine. Can get ourselves a research lab in the capital. Just like get Taj Mahal or the Hermitage or whatever. Let's get a research lab. And let's, uh, we're a suzerain of Lisbon now, so let's levy the military of, of uh, Lisbon. Then let's move Amani from Lisbon to Hattusa again. Right, I like this plan. I'm just juggling around for free envoys. That's excellent. This is super cool. I'm sure it's one of almost every city-state in the game, and then I have uh, envoys in the bank to re-up my suzerainties if they ever take them over. This is really fun. Yeah, I think this is about the right place to call it. Uh, I, I have some more things to do in the next one. I can go settle that other city. I can, uh, yeah, I've got my normal age here. And I can go through the next Congress and see if I can get... Um, delegations there. It's getting close to being the end of the game. Anyway, the, um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.